Bad Times at the El Royale. This is the Drew Goddard film. Um, for anybody who doesn't know who Drew Goddard is, he's only had done, directed one other film, um, which he co-wrote um, with J.J. Abrams. That, no, 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 Joss Whedon, that's who it was. Um, and that's Cabin in the Woods. I really, really, really liked Cabin in the Woods. It was one of the movies I don't think I saw in theaters. I caught on video later on down the road. I was blown away by how much I liked it. Um, and this movie, the trailers have been really good. It's got an amazing cast. I mean, you had freaking Jeff Bridges and Dakota Johnson and Thor's in here. And it, 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 the trailers didn't hardly give anything away. I, like, I had no idea what it was about going into it. And um, I was just pumped to go see it. It was getting decent reviews. And for the most part, I really, really enjoyed this movie. It definitely at times feels like a Tarantino uh, light type movie. Drew Goddard, you could tell he was very influenced by um, Tarantino and the film feels like a Tarantino movie. I will say it doesn't have as good a dialogue as a Tarantino ma movie, but other than that, I really enjoyed it. Basically, I'm not going to go into spoilers or anything. I'm just going to say the plot is about uh, an assortment of strangers that end up at this hotel um, and it's, it's, it used to be a really popular hotel. It's divided right on the Nevada, California state line, which is really cool. Um, and now it's kind of, there's hardly anybody there anymore. You, it's just got one dude kind of running the whole place and everybody has like these weird things going on in their past. The movie is shot um, you know, at different times, kind of like a Tarantino movie, you get flashbacks, you see same scenes from different points of view, um, and there's just a lot of mystery going on, so you're constantly going, what is going on, who's doing this, why are these people doing this, um, there's one main question throughout the entire movie, you find out about this film, um, of someone, this tape, basically, um, and you never really figure out who is on this tape. It's, it's very, um, uh, kind of, like, mysterious, and I actually had to, you know, search it up and see if I was missing something, because the end, I was a little confused, um, and I, I really wasn't missing anything, because it, they never really come out and say who it is on this tape, um, so for that part, I mean, I get, and there was like, uh, I saw some people online that thought they knew who it was. Um, but other than that, I, I really enjoy the movie. I, like I said, it doesn't have a Quentin Tarantino style dialogue, but the characters in this film are very interesting. And I found myself throughout the entire movie, you know, really interested in what, who everybody was and what they were all doing. Um, Chris Hemsworth puts on a show in this movie, and Jeff Bridges, uh, to me, really shined. Um, the girl, the singer in this movie, was really good, too. Um, Dakota Johnson was really good. The The boy who's running the hotel was good. For the most part, I liked freaking everybody. Even John Hamm at the beginning of the movie, I was just like, man, this guy's good. Uh, I liked all the acting. I loved the whole mystery behind it. Um, I will say that, you know, sometimes it's a little convoluted, but at this time I didn't mind it. Um, and it's got some very Quentin Tarantino kind of moments in it where, you know, just craziness has happened. I will say the first couple times that there was some scenes that I, this stuff happens that I was not expecting. It came out of nowhere. It almost made me jump out of my sh seat, um, which was really cool. I haven't had that happen in a while, so... Um, I really enjoyed the movie. I was actually uh, surprised because I, I thought, I'm going to like this movie, but I didn't go into it thinking I was going to really love it. Um, and for me, it's one of the better movies of the year. So I'm going to give uh, Bad Times at the El Royale a four and a half out of five.